Last year, I was struggling to build a profile like this one. I spent hours and hours to find out what type of tools can be used here, what type of tricks I can use here so that I can build a stunning profile. Again, around 1.4K of followers from last, I think, six months. Because um, growing on GitHub is a little bit different from growing on somewhere, somewhere else on different platforms because there are people to engage with it and there are people who are going to feeds and all. Okay, on GitHub, this is the best platform for software developers and data professionals. So you can use this tools and tricks so that you don't have to spend hours on this one. And it is very important to showcase your work in the market because um, that way people will contact you Clients will contact you. People in the same domain, professionals like you, will contact or contact your your network will grow, and you will see there's a huge difference in your work. Um, you will get good clients. You will get good offer job offers for the same. Uh, all you have to do is showcase your work. Okay, even though there are mistakes in it, even though there are some um, uh, the projects are not up to the mark. All you have to do is grow a little bit each day and showcase your work. This is very important. If you if you showcase your work, because not all of them are doing it, very few percentage in the world is doing this, this particular thing currently. Okay, so this is a huge advantage for you. Also, every person's story is different. Okay, so nobody can compete with you in your story obviously so all you have to do is showcase your work on um, a minimum level possible whatever level possible okay this is very important okay now i compiled this series in certain points so that you don't have to work for hours to find out how to build a profile like this one or better than this one so let's start if you're new here i am himanshu ramchandani a data and engineering consultant. I help students and professionals like you to build or improve their skills in the data field by one person every day. Okay, so let's hop into this one. So I already wrote a blog um, for building a stunning GitHub profile. This is very important. The first point here is profile picture. Obviously, anyone, the end user, whenever come to your profile, he or she will first look at to the profile picture. There is no profile picture. It will look like a spam, I, I guess, spam profile. But if there is a profile picture, it will look like a human thing, okay, obviously. So all you have to do is change your profile picture. The profile picture, um, um, now you want to know that is your profile picture right? Is it professional? Is it... Uh, for which platform this profile picture is right. Okay. So for that, we have a tool. Okay. This is, this is called photo filler. Okay. This is a good tool. You, all you have to do is upload this profile picture, upload your profile picture from LinkedIn or anywhere. Uh, people will vote you on your profile like this one. People are voting, um, on this one that this profile picture is likable, competent, influential, etc. So, okay, so that way you can easily uh, check or validate that your profile picture is good enough to upload on your profile. Okay, so if everything is fine, you can upload that or you can change it and upload it on photo filler. That way you can easily identify that what people are feeling about your profile. Also, they will people will show notes on your profile that this profile is looking like this, and you can do the same with other people's profile. Okay, so this is the first thing. Once your profile picture is uploaded, next thing you can do is come to your repositories. Okay, now repositories are important here because when I go to my profile, and you will see that there are different. Um, repository here available all you have to do is change or add some description to it because 
empty repositories are different whatever the repository is all about for example if you are working on a, pro a project and you uploaded that on uh, github profile you have to explain that project in a short form or add a description to it it will look like look better and it will be easy to for a recruiter and whatever the end user is watching your repo will understand what is happening in this repo what exactly is is this repo is all about okay that way you can attract common collaborators from all over the world and people will um ping you to add or contribute to your profile it can become open source we don't know so whatever your idea is you can make it open source um or people just uh, push their work you can check that and accept it okay just like in any other any other um, open source project okay so describe your repositories this is very important okay you have to describe it and whatever project you are working on describe it okay now third point here is you have to add a readme file okay how can you how can someone go to your profile github profile and they will it will look like this generally it doesn't happen because you have to make a readme file here to make a readme file the very easy step this is very easy all you have to do go to repositories okay create on new repository and you have to use the exact same username as you have okay so my is himans nation okay so that way you can create a special repository it will show you like this okay so i already created this one it is it already exists so i don't have to create this again so let me go back okay that way if you create a readme files uh, same exactly as your username it will be show it will be shown here so if you go to this one you will see that this is my profile and this is my repo okay with the same name all you have to do is um added this readme file and that's it that readme file will be rendered here okay so this will be your landing page kind of a landing page okay this is your profile so this is very important for um for showcasing your work and uh, uh, you can use a tool here that is profile me.dev okay this will look like this when you log into this you will see there is some input field available here all you have to do is enter all the information here and it will generate a markdown text for you you have to copy that text and paste it inside your readme file this readme file okay so everything will be look like this if you see you will see different icons here you will see different tags different icons for different skills and tools and you don't have to write code for it it will generate automatically you can uh, generate these type of badges etc okay so do to do this all you have to do is go to this website write your name for example if i write my name here it will change it like this okay so if you are a data as i am data and engineering professional okay so whatever you are doing you can just mention it here and that's it you can write okay so you can write your portfolio link how to contact you so this is my information available here so you can write your email address like this one okay so that way you can just easily create a markdown here and all you have to do is input all the information you want to mention on your profile okay so now uh let's go to the next section all you have to do is select these whatever you know for example git uh we know c and python javascript kotlin perl php r and there are so many languages available here so select all those languages that you already know so it will generate icon here 
and that will be a good part for you to showcase on your profile okay so you're just building it this is my backend profile i worked on these much tools okay there are some other tools available so you can use that also okay so these are very important just mention all of these and that's it let's move to the next section mention your um, socials so it will generate different icons for you and that's it your profile will be ready you can mention different um, badges here it will show you a um, graph like this and that's it so if i write my name here that's it okay if you click on markdown you will see the markdown code of the whole um whole thing that you that is looking like this one okay go to the markdown copy this go to your profile and just paste it inside your readme.md and your profile will look like this okay very easy all you have to do is add your key points like this one always mention everything in key points okay that will be easy for the end user to read and understand what you do exactly okay so uh, this was my third point the fourth point is headline now headlines are very important because after reading your after seeing your profile after reading your name the person will go towards your headline that headline is very important it is basically divided into three parts the first one is keyword whatever the keyword is um, what is your whatever your profile is whatever your profile you are targeting okay you can mention your keyword here the next part is uh, the top skills you know it can be anything it can be python it can be sql it can be tableau it can be anything okay so you have to mention your um, skills here why this is important because whatever the heading is whenever somebody search your name on google they will uh, maybe write like this himanshu data scientist for example or himanshu who know python python expert like this one okay so that way people will search through keywords and your profile will be shown on the top okay so you have to consider seo also because that is important okay search engine optimization i will recommend a simple free course to you uh, you can go through that seo course uh, generally as uh, engineers and as uh, tech people we do not uh, focus on seo part because that is the digital marketing section but it is very important okay so that way you should mention these type of keywords so that people can reach out to you okay if they search about you they will get the links on the top okay last part is the value proposition okay result focused value proposition just like this one so i'm mentioning that mentor professionals to improve their skills in the data field by 1% every day so it is uh, you can imagine this particular part that we are improving day by day that's it okay that way you can add a value proposition to your sub niche or whatever uh, profile you are targeting if you are targeting react developer so you can uh, add value proposition like this that you build landing pages for startups okay that can be uh, your value proposition line so that people understand that this is what you do okay so you can use a tool here that is headline analyzer this is a very cool tool okay all you have to do is put your headline here let's analyze this one so this tool will give you um this type of scores okay so my headline is good with 72 score it's a good score okay so you can go here and check how to change this particular headline because headline should be catching okay um you can check different parts of it that these words are good these words are bad so remove those words if the headline is too big it is not a good headline okay so it should be easy and it should be like people can easily read it out or understand what you're trying to say so it's a good tool available for headline okay next part is get inspiration so people will say that it's like 
copying someone someone else's work so it's okay i don't think consider this as copy because um, you are starting out in your career you are building your profile and it's okay you don't have to exactly copy everything obviously but you have to copy like an artist okay uh, that's what they say um, so all you have to do is see what type of pattern somebody is using for example if you go to my profile you will see there's a pattern or uh, of bullet points what i have done and uh, what type of things i do etc so whatever you have done you have to portray this the, your work in bullet points like this okay so you have worked on different domains you have worked with different clients different projects in college you organize different um community community meets you organized um anything whatever it is small family function whatever it is you have to mention it into a professional way okay so uh, most of the students think about i had never done anything that's not true think about your past think about um, what type of small things even though small things you have to just convert it into words or you can say professional words that will be fine okay so this is very important so you can get input inspiration from top profiles and just see what type of work they are doing and based on that create your own okay so this is very important so you're not exactly copying their copy pasting their work obviously so all you are all you are doing is just uh, learning from them okay next part is about section about section is where uh you mention your experiences you mention your projects what are your projects you work on what type of value you are bringing on the team okay if somebody approaches you and expecting something for example students approach me or professionals approach me with the different doubts in different uh, in their work so all i have to do is provide the solution even though if i'm not providing solution i, I will refer someone to them okay so that their problem will be solved can be solved okay so this is very important mention your projects mention your portfolio create your portfolio um mention the projects explain that project in a story format because uh, you can do that using chat gpt but i will not recommend that because people will sense that people will understand this is the this is a um, uh, not a humanly thing okay because if everything is correct there is no mistake in your work there is a doubt okay so people will judge the energy so try to do stuff or post things on your own try to write everything on your own okay so it will be good for your self esteem it will grow your self esteem in the field and it will be very important to connect with people because people do not connect with machines obviously people will connect with people okay so this is a very important part add your cta there you can mention call to action uh, you, you can uh, post your number contact number you can post your email address whatever okay so if you are working as a freelancer make sure uh, try to make it uh, look like professional professional email you can get a professional email and if you are working as a freelancer uh you should have a landing page or you should have a personal website okay that will be a good sign okay so you can make that email also professional email next part is seven part build valuable projects and now this is very important um there are two things while growing your work growing your profile one is consistency that is obviously important but more important than consistency is intensity intensity of your work okay if you are posting something that is not valuable it doesn't make sense okay it, uh, you will grow but people will not buy something at the end or you will see that people are, are not interacting with your post or people are not interacting or approaching you okay so it should be like building projects explaining them them creating repos and make sure to go a little bit further 
little bit ahead of people. For example, if you build a project, uh, the next step will be make it to production, make it live. Okay, so people can see your work. Next thing is, if the project is live, you can go one step further. The next step is to get use cases. If somebody uses your uh, live project, that will be a use case. It can be people are buying that. It can be people are reviewing and giving reviews to your work. It can be anything. You are getting clients and whatever. So this is very important. So you are just, what you are doing, what companies are expecting from you is you should know things about what happens in your company. So what you are doing, you're just pushing your limits. Your project is not on your local machine. You are posting it live. And along with that, you're going one step further for use cases. So people are using getting customers, getting clients for your work, whatever it is, even though there is only one. Okay. So this is very important. So this is my, uh, this is very important part to build your projects because building valuable projects is called intensity of your work. Okay. You cannot build small projects, uh, only small projects and build a thousand of them. Uh, that can be a good thing. Thousands are a very good thing, but, um, uh, in a company perspective, if, if a recruiter is looking for something, if you are, they are looking for an NLP project, for example, natural language processing project. See, so they will look into the level of project you are working. You are working on sentiment analysis. You are working on name entity recognition or whatever, but the level of projects can be improved by finding out different difficult problems available on the internet. Okay. So you have to do that. Um, so this is very important. Okay. Next part is contributing to open source. Okay. Now contributing to open source is very important because when you work in a company, you will see that you are working with a team. You are contributing your work to a team, to a team member or put a whole team. So team members are contacting you, seeing their, your work, reviewing your work. And you are working in a collaborative manner. This is what we do in open source. When I create an open source project, I want developers from all over the world to see my work, to, uh, not my work, to add something to it, add something to it. This is like, um, doing social work kind of thing. If the project is doing good to the world. Okay. So this is very important. If you just apply or just add something to a open source that uh, thousands, hundreds and thousands of contributors are contributing on that particular project. It's a very good point to showcase in your resume. Okay. It's kind of a star in your resume, just like projects. Okay. So for that, we have this particular repo that is available first contributions. So it's very easy to contribute for the first time. These are some steps available and these are very, um, uh, simple steps to contribute to any project. Okay. It is not difficult that, that difficult to work on, um, uh, everything and look like that, uh, it's a huge or complex work. No, it is not. All you have to do is solve some problem and, um, problems that are, or the issues they are faced in the, in that particular open source. So that is important. So this. This way you can create your first contribution. Okay. So this is a very important part. And next part is regularly update and share your work. This part is very, very important. In all this process, the most important part that I learned was, um, putting your work out there, whatever you're doing at any level. Just put your work out there that way people will engage with your work. Those who are uh, above you can appreciate your work. Those who are below you that the below you in the sense who are freshers and just got into college or, um, in your, um, um, in the lower in the hierarchy of the whole, um, flow. So. They can, can be inspired, 
they can use your work as a reference. Okay, so this is very important. So put your work out there. Okay. Now, uh, if you share your work, it is very important. So I'm contributing from last year. This is my. Uh, this looked like a good thing. Okay. So these are some steps. Okay, so you can follow these steps. You can follow um, everything and uh, you can um, save hours of work that I spend on finding out these things. So just focus on all of them. Okay, so that way you can build a stunning profile. If you want to know more about the GitHub part, so I created a course here. So it's a four, two day workshop. So you can get the course here and um, that's it. Also, um, I am creating, I created a roadmap for mm -hmm. people who are starting with Python. Can be tech, tech professionals, can be non-tech professionals, can be uh, working in data profession, uh, data field or those who are transitioning into data science. Okay, mm -hmm. so this can be your starting point. So I created a roadmap, okay. Um, it will contain 500 plus um, practice questions along with data structures, data structures and algorithm. So I created this roadmap. When you go through these, uh, you will see everything. Okay. It is divided into eight chapters and um, everything is covered in this roadmap. So if you are, want to start with Python, you can. this can be your starting point. And that way you can move forward with other topics like stats and um, machine learning, machine learning operations, et cetera, data engineering and so on. Okay. So I also created a roadmap for data science also. So you can go and check it out. Um, also, if you want to join a live session that I'm organizing, so you can register here. Once you register, you will get a, a group link, a closed group link. You can join that group, group link and we will starting the session on 15th of May this month. Next month, sorry. Okay, so uh, 15th of May 2023. So you can join that and uh, you will see further things, what my teaching pattern is, uh, how I write, write code and you can subscribe to the newsletter. Okay, so that's it. If you have any doubts, you can uh, ping in comment section or you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. Okay, I reply all the um, all the messages. Okay, so that's it. Bye.